Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a collection video. Now, I've been periodically peppering these in in between all my other content, just kind of showing you my makeup collection and I don't know, just random collection videos. I did a highlighter one, eyeshadow palette, all that good stuff. I do have a playlist. I'll throw it up in the cards if you kind of want to check out the playlist. I want to do updates for 2018. I know people keep asking me for like eyeshadow palettes and things like that and I feel like the eyeshadow palette one is pretty current but you guys I am always shuffling through eyeshadow palettes I did declutter a bunch at the end of 2017 beginning of 2018 so I guess eventually I will do an update on my eyeshadow palette collection definitely let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that but today I thought it would be fun if I showed you guys my mask collection so if you are interested, just keep watching and let's get into this video. Okay guys, so you might have been freaked out, but yeah, this is where I keep all of my masks. What I realized was happening is because my beauty room is downstairs and our master bath is upstairs, I wasn't really masking very often. So what I did was put all of my masks, sheet masks, and you know, jars and all that stuff in this box because it was really easy for me to access my masks then. So yeah, I just keep it in this huge Rubbermaid container, which is super easy for me. And really quick, I wanna just show you guys, I have a ton of face masks because I used to be subscribed to Facetory, which is a face mask subscription. I have a few unboxing videos. If I can find them, I will leave them maybe in the description box if you guys are interested. I really liked that service. So once a month, you got like three to seven masks. I can't remember the details, but it got so overwhelming because I wasn't getting through my mask fast enough. So I got to a point where I just kind of canceled the subscription. Plus the subscription service did start increasing their price. So I decided to cool my jets until I got through some of these masks. Now, I can't say that's really happened much because somehow I still have a ton of masks. Plus, every once in a while, if I see a really good pack, I'll like buy more masks. So some of the ones that are like more Asian looking, like where I can't read the writing, are from my face jury, like hauls back in the day. Sorry, these are the Garnier ones that they recently came out with. I have this e.l.f. one I want to try. I have a bunch of these Dr. Jart ones, which are a little bit more pricey, so I haven't used them. This Tatcha one, I need to use. I keep like hoarding this. I was gonna wear this on my wedding day before I did my makeup, and I could not find this to save my life. So I never ended up using it, and ugh, these are so expensive. So I've been like clinging on to this mask, and I haven't used it yet which is kind of embarrassing. I also love the Sephora mask, the face mask, and their foot masks. I talk about their foot masks all the time. I recently picked up a bunch more of their foot masks because I have really dry feet. Their face masks are really good as well. Most of their masks are under like $6, so if you're looking for an affordable sheet mask, that's a good place to start. I also recently found these at Walmart. This is by a newish brand from them called Found, and I got the Brighton and the poor care so I'm excited to try those so I just really need to stop buying shit and start using all the masks I have so I hope to get through more of them in the next year now to apply my mask I have two tools this one is from elf you can just purchase this off the website this is like a silicone little spatula and it's nice at spreading the mask and it's easy to clean and stuff like that this end I've never used. I don't really know what you could possibly use that for. And then I use this one. This is a Wet n Wild synthetic brush and this is really good at putting on masks. Plus, it was like a $2, $3 brush so I don't feel bad if I ruin it. So those are my two application tools that I use for masking. And then this was purchased after I watched a Coffee Break with Danny video. She's a huge sheet masker. And she was talking about this and I basically just went on Amazon and looked up sheet mask mask holder and you can easily get these also at like Asian Dollar Tree type stores. So yeah, I have this and it's super handy because it like sticks the sheet mask to your face and helps absorb it. Plus then you can like walk around with your sheet mask because it won't like slide off your face. So those are like my sheet masking tools. I have some other masks that I just have in my collection. So this is the Bosque Illuminizing Black Mask. 
Now this one kind of went viral, not this particular mask, but I think people were finding like dupes of this on the internet that basically like peeled your skin off and was like really painful. Like you would watch people like take this thing off their face and they'd be like moaning and groaning and it was just so painful looking. So I didn't have that same experience with this guy, but this is just a, you know, purifying kind of mask and I really like it. I need to try and maybe like finish some of these masks up this year. This is a peel off mask. If you've never used a peel off mask, you basically put on a thick layer, let it dry and then you peel it off. A lot of people like to turn it into a sport where they try to peel off their mask in one go, but yeah, this is a pretty good mask. I wouldn't say like run out and get it by any means, but it's a good mask. Here are some masks. I don't know why I can't stop buying these from L'Oreal for some reason. They have like a bunch of these now. These are the only three I have currently in my collection. I've used up one other one, but I have three of them. So what do all of these do? One is a, not really, I think it says on the box. So I don't even know. I think these are all different like cleansing type ones. So this is like a beautiful like blue color. This is a yellow one that has like an exfoliator in it. And the red one has an exfoliator in it too. I'm trying to like use this red one up so I can, you know, kind of make some more room and just use things up. That's like my goal for 2018 is to use stuff up and get it out of here. This is a brand called In Light and I find this at CVS. And a lot of people were saying this is a great dupe for Glam Glow. Now this one is the Clay Time Purifying Deep Cleansing Treatment. And I feel like this is definitely very similar to the Glam Glow. Oh shit, this is so dried out. To the Glam Glow, uh, this one, the white mask called the Super Mud, which is the cleaning treatment. This is so worth every penny. This is a $70 mask. But it's so worth it. You can use it as spot treatment. It might even be too much for you to use this entire thing on your face because you will break out from it. Looks like this one has totally dried up. So I'm going to declutter this. But this is definitely a good dupe for the Glam Glow. Um, I won't be repurchasing this for a while because, like I said, I have so many masks to get through. This one is a dupe for the Glam Glow, like the Sonic mask, the one that you put on and you look like the Tin Man. I don't think this one has dried out because it is in a tube, but this is a detoxifying platinum peel-off mask, so it kind of works like the Boschia one on the back here. It says, make a smart investment. This unique, mineral-rich peel-off mask contains a proprietary, proprietary antioxidant blend. This mask helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and improves skin's luminosity while it strips away dead skin cells and impurities to reveal immediate and visible results. Trust us, it's a sure thing. So this sounds really cool. I mean, I've used it. I don't know why I just said that. Um, but yeah, I do like it. Again, it's a very, very strong mask. Here is a mask I think is kind of overhyped. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. And of course, this is like a little 100 point perk. People go nuts for these Peter Thomas Roth masks. And I don't see why. This one really doesn't do much to me at all. So I need to just finish that up again and just be done because I don't I don't know why I hold on to it. It's kind of silly. This one is another peel off mask. This is the Skin Rescue Purifying Mask with Red Clay from First Aid Beauty. So this mask goes on red and then you peel it off and it says this deeply renewing mask with red clay to draw out toxins and will purge the skin of impurities and excess oils leaving the complexion smooth balanced and clear so I've used up quite a bit of this I don't think I have a whole lot left but again it needs to get used and get out of my collection so I gotta make those goals for this year I don't know how I am not out of this one this is the super mud daily treatment cleanser now they marketed this as a face wash for glam glow but i honestly feel like this is the same as their glam glow super mud mask so i use this as a mask and it says it's for problem skin skin imperfections pore refining mattifying and clarifying i really really love this cleanser i use it as a mask i don't use this every day but basically you put it on you let it dry and then you can rinse it off in the shower it foams while you rinse and it's a really, really cool mask. I use this quite often and I do want to finish this up in 2018 as well. So hopefully I'll get through it.
And then this is the Rose Face Mask from Fresh. And this one is a sample. I didn't see any crazy results with this one either, but I'm not going to buy the full size. But I have the sample, so I will use that one up just like the Peter, Peter Thomas Roth mask. So there are those. And then the last mask I want to talk to you guys about is the Glam Glow, like I already talked about when I talked about the Enlight, uh, Enlight one. This is an amazing, amazing mask. I need to finish this up because this one dries out really quick too. There's not a whole lot left in here. So hopefully I can get through this before it dries out because otherwise it's such a waste of product. I don't see myself purchasing this like in the near future. Maybe if a VIB sale comes along and I really, really feel like I need it, I'll buy it. But if you have problematic skin and you're having a hard time getting it under control or you can't really truly afford like facials all the time, I would say this is worth the investment because a facial is going to cost you about 60 bucks and that's a one-time deal. You can definitely use this more than one time. So if you have problematic skin, if you have a lot of gunk, like a lot of zits and stuff, you can even use this as an overnight treatment. Just apply it to your zits and it will visibly reduce the size of your acne. So this is my holy grail go-to mask and you guys know clearly I'm a maskaholic. I have a lot of masks in my collection. So yeah, I just wanted to take the time to show you guys what I currently had in my mask collection. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to share in my mask collection. So yeah, let me know, are you guys into masks? Do you like sheet masks? Do you like plan masks? Do you like peel off masks? What is your mask flavor? I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Also, if there are any holy grail masks that you think I should check out, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!